428. You see that? EasyJet today at 705. <sighs> Let's go. Edinburgh, here we come. Shh, it's early. <laughs> at the hotel because we cannot check in yet we need to check in at three look how beautiful i just love edinburgh like look at this ah so beautiful so we bought already the tickets for the hop on up of bus and now i think we are going towards princess street for a little shopping shopping Spencer. This is your shredded pudding, haggis and fish and chips. We have finally arrived in our room. It's probably like 4 p.m. or something. I'm completely soaked because it's starting to rain so bad. Anyway, let me give you a tour of the room first. This is the entrance and here we have the hair dryer and then this is basically the room. I think it's a really nice room. On the right we have the bathroom. Really nice bathroom like this is super cool. Shower, yeah, I really like it. And then this is the room. Here we have a mirror, desk area with, it's not really a desk. It's more like a shelf thing. And then this is the bed, which looks really tall. Oh, look at this, there's space underneath for the luggage. Quite smart. The only thing is that basically I have stairs next to me so probably those are apartments i guess but yeah it's a very cute nice little room really nice so basically i landed this morning quite early because we were supposed to land at 8 20 but at i think it was 10 to 8 we were already here like we were already landed and then like by the time that i got through passport control and everything it was about 8 I think and yeah we were like 20 minutes before schedule which was really nice then we got the tram so to go from the airport to the city you can get either the tram or the bus so we got the tram to the city and then we went to the wrong hotel because we are staying at the premier inn this one is the premier inn hub I think there are different premier inn in the city so we went first, like we thought we booked one Premier Inn, but at the end it was the wrong one. So we had to go to another Premier Inn and yeah, that was a bit of a mess. We were like around an hour around town and then we left the luggages because check-in is from three, which I don't really like because three is quite late, like if you arrive early in the morning. So we left our luggages, very safe place because they give you like a card with a number and then they put it away. Like it's not like a common storage room. So we left here the luggages and then we went to do a little bit of shopping. Like it was really nice, a little bit of shopping. At I think 12.30 I would say, 
we went to the Royal Mile to look for a place to eat. We ended up eating at this place, which I don't remember actually the name. The meal was nice, like the quality was okay, it was not super like fancy or anything. I had Yorkshire pudding, my friend had uh, fish and chips, and then we tried haggis, which is like a typical Scottish dish. And we had a very nice Scottish couple next to us. He is actually second generation Italian and he has an ice cream shop, which I don't know, We I think we stayed there talking to them like two hours. So nice, I love it about England that people just talk to you. Like we were really two hours there. And then at three, we were trying to decide whether to take the bus because we booked the up on up off bus, the city sightseeing bus. But we decided to come and yeah, like check in first. And do you see how this thing, how wet this thing is? Proper thunderstorm and we were outside. So like my jeans are soaking wet. I have waterproof shoes, but my jeans are soaking wet. This thing is soaking wet. Anyway, now we have checked in and yeah, we're gonna get changed and finally do the open up of bus. having a stroll along the Royal Mile, which is basically the street that brings to the castle of the whole town, the main street that brings to the castle. We had a very nice meal, hamburger, very good. And yeah, now we're just going for a walk. Well, I mean, it's basically Sarah's size. 
This is a very tall Sarah. Look at these. Wow, such long legs. What is that one? <laughs> this place is called Camera Obscura. And yeah, I think it's like this weird place. Well, oh, there is another one here. Oh, there is two of there, two Sarahs. Hello, a lot of Sarahs here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this way is the castle, and this is then the Royal Mile, and it goes for a mile, which is 1.6 kilometers. I'm ready to go to bed at the end we didn't do much tonight because I was a bit tired because I mean I woke up at 3 30 this morning so I was just a little bit tired so we didn't do much we just had a stroll along the Royal Mile which was really nice so nice like the architecture here is so beautiful and then what did we do we came back to the hotel we had a nice cup of tea before going to bed we don't have the kettle this time in the room which i found weird but like at the entrance there is like a hot water machine and all the coffees and teas there so you can go there and have your coffee or tea so that's what we did and now i think it's about 10 yeah it's about 10 and i'm ready to go to bed see you tomorrow morning good night good morning everyone today it's a new day in edinburgh i am uh, wrapping up all my things because we are leaving in like five minutes we are going to the train station because we have a train booked for aberdeen and i'm really happy because i've never been in aberdeen so finally i'm seeing something new there has been some train cancellation lately because there are not enough driver train drivers and so we are going there a little bit early to check if the train is gonna be there or not depending if the train is gonna be there then we will decide what to do we had already breakfast it was okay like the choice was not very good so what we normally like of the premier inn is the breakfast they have like their own restaurant and you can get like a full english breakfast or a full continental breakfast or you can have like a little bit of both there are crumpets which i really like but this is nothing like it this is not the premier inn is the hub by premier inn which i think the room is a little bit more tech than the normal premier inn like it looks a lot more modern you see the room it lacks in other things for example we don't have a kettle in the room even though you of course can go downstairs there is hot water downstairs but yeah so it's a little bit different but look this i wanted to show you this so basically when you sleep you have this thing on the headboard when you like in the night when it's dark you go you get closer with the finger and it lights up and then you know you can decide whether you want all the lights you see like the lighting is changing or you want only like small lights no does it turn it off oh no that's the bathroom light if you see there there is a light then there is no light at all so this is gonna turn off the light then we have like mid light and then we have like all lights crazy do not disturb you have like a light outside and it will light up so it will bring it do not disturb do not make up the room the reading sign, I think that was when you close the lights and then you light up this one. Yeah, it's right on top of you so you can read. But yeah, very high tech, like it's very nice. But like the view was a little bit bad because um, I cannot, like there are people passing by so I cannot really, yeah. Also I liked a lot like this kind of like nightstand, nice nook, is that nook? yeah i mean there are pros and cons but the main cons is the breakfast 
but yeah i think we're gonna have anyway food on the train the train is scheduled at 10 30 and then we're arriving there at like 12 i think it's like two and a half hours now it's time to go Chat room.